Twitch natively added alerts. Now you can actually add Twitch alerts via Twitch. We go to our creator dashboard. If you don't know how to get here, you click on your icon and click on creator dashboard. Then here on the left, you go to alerts. You can go to the tutorial or just click on get started. Here you want to create an alert box. I'm just gonna call this one follow alerts because I like to make different boxes for different alerts. The reason is that you can turn on and off your alerts separately. So for example, if you get follow bullet, you can turn off only your follows and still have the subscribers go on. Description, we don't need a description. This is, these are just follow alerts. Create. And now here we're gonna edit the alerts. You can see this is the canvas, but we stream in 1080p. So we're gonna do 1920 by 1080. Here we can set the background color, but I would recommend you keep it on this one because this is transparent. This is black, white, or red. Here on the left, we can see what kind of alerts would go off. New follow, subscription, gifted. So because I'm just gonna do a follow in this one, I'm gonna turn all these off. This one off, this one off. And then we're gonna focus on the follower one. I'm just clicking on the follower one. It says one new follower. We can have different varieties. So if we add a new one, new variety, we have two different ones and we can have different graphics on them and we can rotate through them. This is a preview, this is how it would look like. But we wanna look at the general settings. This is a new follower, a new follower on your channel. You keep that that way. And the duration of the alert, you can make it as how many seconds you want. I'm gonna make it five seconds. We can also have a custom HTML. If you like coding, you can turn this on. I don't know coding, so I'm not gonna do that. And if you watch this tutorial, there's a big chance you can't either, so just leave it off. How does the animation come into your stream? It will fade in out, it will slide up, slide down, slide left, slide right, or zoom. I like it to have it on top of my stream and have it slide in. So I'm gonna do slide down. And then if it goes out, it will slide back up. We can say how long the animation for the slide down and up needs to take in seconds. I'm just gonna keep it on one second and then we have three seconds left to be in the screen. The layout. So we can have the text on the right side, the text on the left side, the text on the bottom side, the text on the top side, or the text literally through the image. I'm gonna do the text on the right side like this. We can have a background color and you can have an opacity. I'm not gonna have a background color and add padding and stuff to that and we can round the quarters for the background color and make a drop shadow. We can also add a text to speech. Now we can change the text here, <laughs> just follow, but you can also make it become became part of the family or something like that. As long as you keep this username in because this is the username of the person who actually followed. We can set a font here. You can see the font here as well. So you can make it look cute or whatever you want. <laughs> and then we can have it normal, semi-bold or bold to make it normal. And this is how big it is back and then we can line it anywhere we want let's line it mostly to the left to the picture we can set the text color which is just following this and we can set the accent color which is the username of the person so we can make this blue for example and this white if you add a drop shadow to the text you will barely see it right here but it will basically pop out a little bit better in your stream so i recommend putting a drop shadow on we can also say alert in text and we can have basically hi my name is amy hi. amy my for example, name is Amy. <laughs> or Justin, or we can have basically anybody say <laughs> just has followed. I'm not going to do that for the follower, so I'm going to turn it off. Now we have sound and visuals. We can upload a picture here from your image library or upload a file. If you click on upload file, we can click on this image, for example, which is one of our emotes. Keep in mind, it can also be like a GIF, or we can just choose one from the image library. These are presets they have already. And then we can also do that with sound. We can also upload a file. This is my follower sound. You can play it and you can actually change the volume to louder or like super quiet. We need to make sure that basically they comply with the Twitch regulations, don't have copyright things in there, don't have nudity in there, stuff like that. And here we have celebrations as well. A celebration is to animate the jazz of your alert. If you turn them on, we can have fireworks or stuff like that. So just in the video, just in the top of the chat or in the video in the chat. But I won't do that with followers. I think it would be a good idea for donations or for subscriptions or something like that. And then there's a danger zone and that is just to delete this, this, this box basically. So these are the options you can do. And then we can just save this. And here we say browser source URL. We're gonna copy this. It looks like a lot of dots, it isn't. 
if we go to our OBS, you can see that I'm actually recording in here. Um, I click on the plus and we're gonna add a browser source. So the browser source is right here and we call it alerts follow. And then we press okay. We can put it in here. I'm sorry for this box. It just appears automatically. We're gonna put a URL in here and then we're gonna make it 9020 by 1080. Control audio via OBS. We're gonna remove this and then click on okay. Now we don't really actually see anything. <laughs> But we should be able to test it. It's send test alert. If we click on here, we will see the old one. Hmm, that's not good, huh, is it? Apparently I've been testing new floor two instead of one. So I'm just gonna turn this one off and this one on. Whoops. So make sure that you actually select the right one when editing. <laughs> now if we test this alert, we'll see it come in and go out. We can always make it smaller in OBS itself by doing, you know, making the box smaller. Now if we test it, it's a lot smaller and we can just drag it in wherever you want it to be. This is basically how simple it is to add a follower alert. We can go back to the alerts home and we can basically create a new one and do alert sub. And now what we can do is we can edit this one. You get a gist, right? Turn this off, turn the cheer off, turn the hype chat off. Turn the rates off. And now what we can do is we can change the subscriptions. A prime subscription, a resub, a new subscriber, and we also have gifted subs. So you can have different animations for these. You can also have the same animations for these if you want to. And they basically work the same as the followers. So the layout, it's just the same settings, the general settings, same settings. Visual and sound, same settings. Here, you might want to turn on the celebrations. If you turn them on, you can have fireworks, flamethrower or rain, be light, moderate or extreme in your chat, in your video player or in both. So this will be natively on Twitch and not actually in your OBS. And you can make as many as you want and just copy this URL and put them in OBS. If you got follow button, for example, what you can do is you can just turn this one off and then nobody will see the follows come in. And as you see, the audio will also stop immediately because we controlled the audio via OBS. This is how simple it is to make any of the alerts in Twitch. You can have things for followers, subscriptions, gifted subscriptions, cheers, hype chat, rage, charity, only if you use a charity function from Twitch. Hype trains, this is when multiple people subscribe to you or give bits, you will get a hype train. You can change alerts for that in here as well. And you can also set alerts for your calls. So if you have reached your goals and stuff like that, you can also have alerts for that. They work the same as for followers and for subscriptions. So I'm not gonna go over the settings again because they work literally the same. Go back in the video and look back over the settings again and you will get the same result for all these other alerts. Did you know you can actually make clips in Twitch now as well? I'm gonna show you how you do that right in this video. So I'll see you right there.